It's your favorite attorney, attorney Allie Booker. Without further ado, let's get a crack of laughing. You already know what time it is. Welcome to Order in the Court. You email me your questions. I bring it to the court of my public opinion. I give you my answers. Now, you're not going to look at this as legal advice, child, because I don't represent you yet. I don't represent you. So if I don't represent you, I can't say that this is going to work for your case. However, I promise you, I'm going to be all point my professionalism as far as telling you exactly like I tell my clients straight up, straightforward, and to the point. Because sometimes we don't need to water it down. Things get lost in translation. Let's get moving. They wrote me and they said, long story short, I received a traffic citation when passing through an area a while back. I completely forgot about it. I remember now that I have to take a trip through the same area soon. I'm pretty sure there's a warrant out for me already. Our warrant's public information. How can I check or confirm that there's an active warrant? I'm trying to get it sorted out without getting into too much trouble before my trip. What do I do? Child. <laughs> Wait to the court of my public opinion. It happens to us all, especially when we're riding down here in the south and you're going from Texas to Louisiana. We, it all happens to us, okay? So this is what you have to do. You're going to have to find out what jurisdiction you were in and call them to see if there's a warrant out for your arrest. Another thing that you can do because warrants do go out for your arrest and it does take a while for each state. Cause see, you're not telling me whether you went from state to state or you're, whether you went from county to county, but each county within a certain amount of time will report everything to the state of Texas. So VPS can usually let you know if a warrant is out for your arrest in a jurisdiction due to a traffic ticket. In addition, Another way that you can find out is DPS because the other states will also report these. Now, it takes a while. It takes some months, okay? So you could very well be out there with a warrant that you don't know. An officer can run you and it will come up. So what I always tell people to do is try by going to the jurisdiction that you're in or anywhere close and start making calls. I know it sounds crazy, but these people, especially that are in these towns where you drive through, they are used to this. They are not true to this, uh, new to this. They are true to this. They will tell you exactly what you need to do, honey. And half the time, they can tell you, well, your ticket is not here, but it may you need to check such and such parish because a lot of us be over there. It has been times where I have, you know, I forgot about a ticket. Maybe I will flag an officer down. I don't just do what I do. You know, I'm a lawyer. I'll flag a cop down quick. You know, but I will flag them down and be like, look, okay, I think I have a warrant. I don't know what to do. I was coming through here and, you know, such and such happened. I'm willing to pay it. I just don't know where it is. And so I have flagged down like state troopers because they generally don't like to deal with that type of thing. Like to take somebody on a warrant is a big deal for them. It's a lot of paperwork and they don't like to do it. So I normally will flag them down because they are going to tell you because they also know every, every county or parish in the state, especially in that area that they're in because they're state troopers. So they go all out and they normally could tell you, now if you are on this side or you are at mile marker this, you need to check with this jurisdiction. So that's how I was able to find mine. I just talked to meet some good old fine country Cajun police officers and they told me, they're like, well, if you're over here and in this jurisdiction, my mom, you're gonna be on this one or you're gonna be on the other one. Call both of them sometime. They put the ticket here and it's supposed to be over there. So they helped me out. But you're going to have to do some knocking on some doors. Okay, don't sit around and wait for the ticket to find you, child, because we don't need to be arrested at the wrong time. Generally, when you're looking for your ticket and you're trying to fix your problem, people are helping your ass. But once you done got pulled over, bitch, you got a little alcohol on your breath, you got some weed in the car, somebody done stole some shit out the store and they done pulled your ass over because of, at that point, people are not as willing to assist you with the warrants. Okay? So you want to start off coming to them before they come to you. And the telephone call, can't anybody arrest your ass over the phone? I always tell people, use that damn phone and call, call, call. And mostly every every county has a warrant line where you can call, give them your driver's license number, your date of birth, and they can pull warrants across. Again, the issue is it takes a long time for these tickets to show up sometimes. So sometimes it's better just to call jurisdiction to jurisdiction. Next case. I know it can be hard when the tickets get lost, but bitch, I'm a fine every son of my tail, bitch. I'll go find trouble for it finds me. I'm different. I can't go to jail. Bye. Go find the tickets. Think it's time I made that call. I locked up the face and charges. Who gon' fight these cases for me? I call with the law firm. They got the job done. They were right there for me. For more information, contact the Booker Law Firm at 713-292-2225.